what you look like after traveling for like 28 hours. But we finally made it. We're in Finland. It is cold. Yeah, it's cold. Um, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, uh, But I've only been out here for like five minutes. I'm excited! It is our first full day in Finland. Uh, I didn't do much filming yesterday because we arrived really, really late. It was like 11 o'clock, 11.30 before we even got to the resort. Um, the staff was super, super kind and they um, had dinner ready for us and everything. So that was really sweet. And then we just came back to the room and like crashed. Um, we had a travel day. It was probably like a 26 hour travel day. So we were super tired. But right now it is about 7.45, almost 8 o'clock, and we are heading to go get breakfast in the lodge. And then we have a reindeer farm experience where we're going to like see reindeer. Apparently there's more reindeer in Finland than there are people, from, is what I heard anyway. I hope I'm right on that. But um, we're going to go to a reindeer farm and take a reindeer sleigh ride. Then we have a little break in between and then we have a snowmobile experience. So we're gonna go do that. So I'm gonna take you along with me today and let's get to it. can pull over 200 kilograms in a sled and fastest we went was about 35 kilometers in one hour so really strong and fast animals mm. when we first start at the start of winter we don't put so much weight on them and we go a little bit at the time so that we get the muscles back but this time of the year they are already full strength and they can do this running all day and they do not get tired and of course we don't use the reindeers every day so we switch them a lot okay these guys that work today they are going to have free day tomorrow so it's like every other day? Yes, a little bit like that. Or even on every third day. Depends a little, little bit on the day. How okay. Hard. okay. And then Got my reindeer driving day. license. Yeah. Ooh, How cute. Okay. It's snowing on our first full day in Finland. It's so cold, but we're about to go back to the room and we're gonna get changed and we're gonna go snowmobiling. There we go. I can't even see my <laughs> Factory when she comes with the blueberry. Help! Well, that's Augustus. Viola, but wasn't it Augustus Gloop that turned in? Oh no, it was Viola. Yeah, was yeah you're right. <laughs> After a very, very cold afternoon of snowmobiling, we are at dinner and warming up with a nice cup of gloggy which is a authentic Finnish drink. It's like a juice and it's, this one is mixed with wine and it tastes like a mulled wine. It's really, really good and it's served warm. Good morning, everybody. It is day two in Finland and today we are going to be first going on a Husky Safari which I'm super excited about. So we get to be pulled on a sled by a team of Huskies. And then we get some time after that to play and pet them and take some pictures. So I'm really excited about that. 
and then after that I'm sorry I'm out of breath <clears throat> because I forgot my SD card and I had to run back to the cabin and get it because we're about to leave for the husky thing and I didn't want to make people wait and then when I got back turns out we're waiting for eight more people so I ran for nothing and I'm still out of breath but anyways um, after the Huskies, we are going to go to Santa's Cabin, which is a really cool cabin. It's about 40 minutes away from where we're staying. It's covered in snow. We're going to get some really cool photos there, I hope. And then we're going to come back here, probably get some dinner. We might be doing the Finnish sauna. Saunas are really big in Finland, so we're going to book that, I think. And then just kind of call it an early night. And yeah, so I'm excited about today. It's going to be fun. just had the most amazing experience doing a husky safari I actually got to drive the sled which was super cool the dogs are so cute we got to take some photos with them and um, we're about to have some warm berry juice in a teepee with a fire contraption called a sledge. It's this covered and heated sleigh and we're being pulled by a snowmobile and it's very jerky <laughs> but it's super fun. Good. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's day three in Lapland and today we're going to be going to a reindeer farm and doing a, another reindeer experience. The first one we had was a little bit disappointing if I'm being quite honest. It was dark outside. There was no opportunity to get good photos or good videos. We did a sleigh ride that lasted about three minutes and then we got to interact with the reindeer, feeding them moss and um, trying to take pictures for about five minutes. So it was like a less than 10 minute interaction with them and we were just a little bit disappointed. So we're gonna redo it at a different farm that is beautiful. They just have really cool like old barn buildings and stuff, it's really cool. Um, and then after that we're gonna go try to find Santa's cabin, which yesterday 
we tried to do and it was a different one than what we had thought originally. Apparently there are multiple Santas and multiple Santa's cabins here in Lapland. So we, we visited the wrong Santa yesterday. Um, so we're gonna try to redo that today too. way better than the first experience that we had. Update number two, Santa's cabin. Ooh, I wanna cry, we didn't find it. Um, it's on a ski resort and it was really, really cloudy and the cabin was somewhere lost in the clouds. Um, we had to take a gondola up and then like walk down a little bit and we couldn't find it. And it was like freezing cold. My fingers were like about to fall off so we just, gave up i'm really sad because it would have been an epic photo and that's like one of the one photos that i wanted on this trip but we have some really cool things coming up the next couple of days um so hopefully that will make up for not being able to find santa's cabin we've had a pretty tough time with day like chasing daylight to get um good videos and pictures but overall it's been a great experience here in um levy um we just rented a car and we're about to drive three and a half hours to Kimmy for our next stop. Taya is driving because I don't drive in snow. North Carolina, we don't get much snow at all. And if we do, the whole city shuts down. So I don't feel comfortable driving in it. So she's from Minnesota. She's used to snow. She's gonna drive in it. <laughs> 